Yay! This is what I'm going to start out with. Some large mealworms. To watch them go round and round. Actually, um, these will me yeah, mealworms I originally bought for my turtle. That's why they're so big. And this is sort of a last resort to give to my toads because I ran out of crickets. There they go. Just sitting on the turtle cliff. The toads looking uninterested. Back to the worms. Yep. And nothing happened so far. They're just kind of chilling. Probably don't even know what that is. Although I think at the store they were given mealworms to eat. But I mostly give them crickets. This is my first time giving them mealworms. So I think this one is actually... If you predicted he's going to roll over into the water... You'd be right. He rolled over into the water. Now why I don't pick him up and uh, place him back with the other guy, I don't know. Don't ask me this question. I don't know what I was thinking when I filmed this. I kind of just watched him drown slowly. No, I'm not that sadistic. I just wanted to show more mealworms and the little cup they come in. I think I shook it around a little bit so you could see them. Yep, there we go. They're actually pretty big. Since my turtle is about 10 inches long, then this is perfect for her, but I had to find some special, some of the smallest ones in there in order to give for the toads. And there he goes. And yet I still don't pick him up. But oh yeah, this is a good time to go back to the story of my toad that escaped. So I wake up in the morning, always, you know, go and check up on my toads, see how they're doing. And uh, I only find one sitting out. Normally I think, okay, maybe he's just hiding behind that, that green platform back there, which they like to do sometimes, but I didn't see him there. So now I'm freaking out. Mind you, I think uh, this was a school day, so I had about 20 minutes before I had to leave the house, and I'm freaking out. I'm running all over the place, I'm putting plates of water all over the house, and um, there they go again. Oh yeah, I actually took, sidetracking again, uh, I actually took the worm out, but it was too late. As you can see, he's not moving. But yeah, back to the toad. So, back when I had three toads, the first one that had escaped ended up making his way all the way downstairs by the front door. That's where I found him very, very dry. So I figured this time, maybe, just maybe, he would have the same idea. First time I go check, he's not there. Or I don't see him. So I go, great. So, you know, I put the, you know, little plates of, shallow plates of water. Go upstairs for five, ten minutes. Look around some more. Then I realized, let me go back and check just one more time. Just one more time. Had that feeling. So I go back down. Then I decide, maybe, you know, I'll open the closet. The closet door in the front. There's a big gap underneath. Maybe he went in there. Open the door. Look underneath my brother's shoe. And lo and behold, there he is. Barely alive. I'm freaking out. So I put him on the one of the shallow plates of water. Rush him upstairs and sort of nurse him back to health. And luckily he made it. If I wouldn't have caught him, you know, if I would have waited maybe 10, another 10, 15 minutes, I don't think he would have made it. He was pretty dry pretty dirty too. But luckily he did make it. Actually I think that's him right there because um this had just happened the day this video was taken was about one or two days after I found him. So he still kinda looked a little skinny. Whereas if you see the other toad which is about to jump up very soon, he's much fatter. There he goes. 
so he's do he's a bit more healthy than this guy I'm trying to get him to eat so hopefully that mealworm really helped him <laughs> it's so funny he tried to take it from his mouth So at this point, uh, I kind of waited a while to see if anyone would even bother to look at the dead mealworm. It's recently dead. I thought maybe they'll pick up on him. <laughs> That's funny. And uh, the other guy will eat him. But yeah, that didn't happen. You can clearly see the difference between the two of them here. I actually think that the one that escaped, the skinnier one, is a female. She looks a bit... She doesn't have a... She's not as bumpy. Her skin isn't as bumpy. And the other guy is much bumpier. Which, I don't know. If anyone has a comment about that, which one they think is male or female, or, or what have you. But I think the one on the right is the female. The one on the left is the male. Either that or they're both males. Who knows? I'm just making a guess. Yeah, that's me trying to wait and see if they'll eat it. They're not gonna eat it. I think they're staring at it to see if it moves. Yes, he, he's uninterested already. And I think in about a minute, I'm going to put a new one in there. And that's when he really goes for it. There he goes. With that new worm. Which is funny because he actually lost track of it. <laughs> he was fighting with the other guy. Or girl, whatever. He kind of forgets about it for a minute. And he's like, where's that worm? I just had it. There it is. I can't believe they can just take down that whole worm. That's crazy. But Toad's gotta eat. I'll put a, another video up of them eating the crickets. I think that's much more exciting than the worms because the worms hardly move and it's just kind of fun to watch the crickets bounce all over the place. Yeah, I didn't leave that dead one in there. I took it out, eventually. So I think uh, after this video was over, I took it out. I wonder what they're doing when they squeeze their eyes like that. Does anybody know? Are they digesting it? Mushing it up? What is that eye squishy thing?
Okay, well that was me feeding my toads to large mealworms. And yeah, thank you for watching.